as Mercedes-Benz launches its first hub market variant of the all-new E-Class sedan. That new car, the E43, continues to usher in a new era for AMG as well. Previously, AMG models were always the Autobahn-inhaling, uncompromised hot rods of the range. Those cars still exist, denoted by their 63 or 65 nomenclature. Now, however, the mid-level sport versions also are adopting the AMG moniker, with the lesser number 43. Already, there is a Mercedes AMG SLC 43 Roadster and GLE 43 crossover coupe, with the C43 sedan, coupe, and convertible, plus a GLC 43 crossover and crossover coupe all launching soon not to mention the four-cylinder 45 AMGs, the CLA and the GLA. All AMG 43 cars use a 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6, which makes 362 horsepower and 384 pounds to foot of torque in the models that have already been released. For the E43, Affalder bought fitted larger turbos to coax out another 34 horsepower. It may not be hand-built and individually signed, as are other AMG engines, but the twin-turbo V6, with its 396 horsepower and 384 pounds to foot of torque, represents welcome increases of 145 horsepower and 113 pounds to foot compared with the 2.0-liter turbo 4 in the E300. The blown 6 cuts the 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint to 4.5 seconds, according to Mercedes, fully 2.0 seconds quicker than we timed the E300. If Mercedes times proved accurate, the E43 would just edge out the 420 horsepower Cadillac CTS V Sport but trail the 450 horsepower Audi S6, which we clocked at 3.9 seconds although some might put the Audi up against the full ZU T63. Comparisons aside, the E43 clearly is not a high-strung muscle car in the vein of an E63. Its external, though, is most welcome, and with this engine, you re never left wanting in the way you can be in the four-cylinder base car. On German roads, the E43 pulled hard and satisfyingly at autobahn speeds, slightly less so when charging away from stoplights. The artificially enhanced soundtrack, however, was not so enthralling, even in sport or sport plus modes, it though s and come close to the deep-throated bellow of the AMG V8, although at least it avoids the diesel-like note of the 2.0-liter. The engine is paired with an m enhanced quicker shifting version of the 9-speed automatic transmission found in the E300. It retains the dainty column stock shifter but adds a button on the center console for direct access to manual mode, in which paddle-actuated shifts are held to redline. The driver also can grab a paddle at any time, but the transmission reverts to automatic operation after a few seconds. For drivers inclined to use manual mode, the button is a convenience, but the 9-speed is a pretty reliable partner when left to choose its own ratios, particularly in Sport and Sport Plus, where it readily downshifts under braking. All-wheel drive is standard, and AMG ups the rear to work bias to 69%. The brakes also are upgraded, to 14.2-inch rotors, with vented and cross-drilled fronts. The ES available air spring suspension here called AMG Ride Control is standard and has been revised to keep a tighter rein on body motions than in the standard car. Encounter a sudden dip on a country road at 65 miles per hour, and the system clamps down so effectively that the expected rebound never happens. We did, however, experience some ride harshness even in comfort mode. For that, we can t help turning our gaze toward the low-profile rubber fitted to our test car, 245 up front, 275 at the rear, on 20-inch wheels. Slightly less aggressive tires on 19-inch wheels are standard. On the smooth roads of Germany, though, the ride really wasn't t much more brittle than you find in the E300 with its sport suspension. E-Class chief engineer Michael Cowles confirmed that the E43S chassis tuning is intended to be closer to that of the E300 than the E63. The thinking is that, 
with no other six-cylinder sedan in the E-Class lineup in the United States, there is an E400 sedan in Europe, the E43 shouldn't T be so hardcore as to shock those buyers who choose it cheaply for its six-cylinder engine. The AMG changes to the steering are less successful. The fat-rimmed, AMG-specific wheel feels great, particularly with the available micro suite inserts, and on center heft and precision inspire confidence even at 100 miles per hour but at slower speeds, move the wheel a quarter turn or so off center, and the variable ratio quickens sharply, often necessitating a mid-corner correction. If steering effort increased proportionally, it might be easier to adjust to the change, but it really don't s t build at all. We prefer the more relaxed setup in the standard car. Outside, mild tweaks mark the E43. The three-pointed star is centered in a grille that is a constellation of chrome pins bisected by a single horizontal bar. Subtly re-sculpted rocker panels and E43-specific wheels highlight the side view, twin exhaust outlets are seen at the rear, and a carbon fiber trim package also is available. Inside, a black interior with red contrast stitching and red seat belts is exclusive to the E43, although the regular E-Class color schemes remain available. The standard sport seats are firmer than the well-cushioned thrones in the E300 and feature more pronounced side bolsters, which some may find confining. As in the standard E, the 12.3-inch center display screen looks fantastic and is highly configurable, provided you can figure out how to do so. There is a console-mounted control knob that turns, pushes in, and moves up, down, and sideways. The touchpad, located awkwardly just above it, on which you can draw and swipe, and two thumb-actuated touchpads on the steering wheel's spokes. It can take a lot of practice to execute a command efficiently. Buyers who pay up for the virtual instrument cluster a second 12.3-inch screen that replaces the traditional gauges get even more configurability and a cinemascope display that leads the segment for high-tech wow factor. On the subject of high-tech, the E43 naturally can be had with all the driver aids available on the standard E-Class. Adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning and automated emergency braking are standard, the other advanced technologies are options. We find the lane keeping assist overly intrusive if you transgress onto the line, it breaks the wheels on one side of the car to force it back into the lane but the automated driving technology, drive pilot, is impressive. It smoothly steers the car for up to 60 seconds before an alarm dings to remind you to put your hands on the wheel or at least give it a nudge. It even will execute a pass, provided that it's safe to do so, if the driver activates the turn signal for 2 seconds. There is a lot to like about the E-Class, and the E43S Twin Turbo 6 is a wholesale improvement over the E300S Turbo 4. We read also down with the firmer suspension although the more beat up pavement back in the United States might reveal it as unduly harsh but we read less enamored of the revised steering and the sport seats. Compared with the E63, which will return to the lineup soon, the E43 seems mild for an AMG, and some AMG fans might find that disappointing. It is likely, though, that the middle ground is just what Mercedes customers will like. like.